I know it sounds wrong And I don't have the face But lately everything Is falling into place This morning, let me say that it's good to be in the house of the Lord today. Uh, it's good to have uh, each and every one up to, uh, that uh, has came out to this uh, drive-in service. And uh, let me say that God's good. Uh, Amen. I just want to praise God for what He's been doing in my house and what He's been doing at your house. Yes. And I, I, I hope and pray that uh, all is well in your house. So I want to share with you. Uh, I, I said. Uh, I sent Brother Lawhorn a letter, Alan Lawhorn a letter, and uh, he's over in Tennessee in one of the state uh, prisons that are there, and I sent him a letter uh, earlier, I guess probably three or four weeks ago, and uh, he replied to my letter, and uh, he said, Dear Tommy, I just wanted to thank you for your support letter to the parole board. If it's God's will, I hope to get a, a break and maybe be released sometime in the near future. It's all in the Lord's hands and not mine. But His will be done. God is good all the time. He said, take care, stay safe out there, and may God bless. Sincerely, Alan Lawhorn. So I want to praise God for that. Uh, yeah, this, uh, this man's been incarcerated for several, several years. And... Uh, I felt like that, you know, if uh, maybe sometime that God released him in the near future, that uh, he would be welcome here at Spring Hill, that he could be a benefit here. Because, uh, you know, there's a lot of young uh, young men and women over here in Whitfield County Jail. We get to talk to on occasion, and hopefully when they open that back up, we'll get to go back in and talk to them some more. to talk to somebody that uh, may be headed down the wrong road, the wrong path. So let's pray for him and pray that uh, God will help him maybe get released pretty soon. Uh, and uh, let me say it's good to have his son Dale with us today. And Dale, have you got a good message out there? If you do, do this. You got one? Can you do this? All right, you've got a good message because you're going to be preaching in a little while. Okay, well, anyhow, uh, this this kind of unusual to have an outdoor service like this, guy, and then uh, really to me it doesn't matter either way. Uh, I like the indoor service myself, but the uh, uh, reason I'm going to get Dale to come and preach, uh, I, I do want the church to pray for us. Uh, yesterday, uh, we went over here to the uh, to the doctor. And I uh, had some issues going on, and uh, by the way, I'm not contagious, I want you to know that. <laughs> uh, but uh, I thought I had a stomach virus. Well, it wasn't a stomach virus. Uh, they uh, said that I got food poison. So anyhow, uh, they checked my urine for blood, and I had blood in my urine, so uh, they're going to send me to see a urologist. I've got some issues going on that uh, I've got to uh, go see a specialist about. I haven't got my blood work back, so uh, as soon as I get that back, I'll know a little bit more. But uh, I'm concerned about it. I want you to get concerned about it. I want you to pray about it. Because uh, I believe what God's Word says. Yeah. He says in His Word that the effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. You know, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to run for God and full steam ahead whenever your body is not well. And uh, most of you know how I am. I'm one of them. Uh, I'm, I'm not one of them sit back and relax. I can't do that. I'm not geared that way. The way I'm geared is uh, uh, full steam ahead. So uh, pray again. Uh, when uh, the tornadoes came 
moved. We had uh, water damage in our uh, fellowship building. We want you to pray about that because we've got some more damage out there we're going to have to address. Uh, likewise, uh, just pray for the church. Pray that God will bless you. Now, we are going to draw for that uh, tiller next week. Anybody that has tickets, I need all your tickets in. Just uh, I need every one of them that we can. Bring those on in. Uh, I, I need them to where we can draw for that tiller uh, next Sunday. And somebody's going to get a nice tiller. Our air conditioning unit is paid for. The church is not in debt. We want to praise God for that. Uh, we're just praising God for many, many things. But before we really get started, I want to start this service in prayer. So, uh, if you will, Jesse, would you come up and, uh, would you care to come up and start their service in prayer? I'm sorry, thank God for being here. But I miss church. Not being able to send the good. You know, these services that we see streaming has been real good. Been a help to us. But, you know, it's good when you can send we set the good. It's time to be back, be back here. Even though we're outside, we're still in God's house. Thank you, Stan. Want to come this way this morning. Almost crest in line, Heavenly Father, Lord. I want to thank you for this opportunity to be in the house of the Lord. One of our friends, Father, and our brothers and sisters in Christ. Father, we pray, oh Lord, this service would go out, oh Lord, touch someone's heart. Lord, someone might be saved, oh Lord, to this service. We pray, Father, for those, oh Lord, that is all sick, Father, and unable to be with us today. We pray, Father, for those, oh Lord, that has doctors of Father Father coming up. We pray, O oh Lord, that you just touch, O oh Lord, put our healing hand on them, Father, may be. Now, Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you just let this service, O oh Lord, be blessed to someone. Father, you just always go with us and watch over us and care for us, Father. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you going to sing this morning? We are. We're going to sing a little bit. Uh, do you want to finish the end of the morning with us? That's fine. Yeah, go, go ahead and get your instrument. I'll, I'll get you songs. And then, Lacey, was you singing? You weren't singing? Okay. And after Jimmy and uh, Sheila, after they get done singing, Dale, will you be ready? Okay. Thank you. 
the Lord. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. We hope everybody's enjoyed the singing this morning, and uh, I know, you know this is uh, maybe not the, as long a service or song service as you've ever seen, but we just want to praise God. And come on, Dale. Amen. Yeah, I just want you to come on. Amen. Uh, uh, Brother Dale Lawhorn, a uh, good young preacher here. I, I just want Dale just to remind the Lord today. Dale kind of, he's one of the preachers fills in when us old Greg Eric preacher ain't feeling well. So uh, anyhow, I, I appreciate him. I appreciate Brother Jimmy and uh, 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 Papa Cox and all the other preachers that come and help him. The old Greg Eric preacher just uh, feel like he, you know, he needs a little break. So come on, Brother. Amen. Find the Lord. Amen. Bless him, Lord. It is good to be here this morning. Good to have a few people come out. I know we're missing some, but... Uh, I uh, just want to just praise God for what He's doing and all He's done for us. Uh, yes. Boy, I enjoyed that last song. Yes, boy, well, y'all, that, that, that hits close to home, you know, so much to thank Him for. So much to praise You know, uh, 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 we don't deserve it. We didn't, didn't earn it. Uh, but yet God has blessed us anyhow. Yeah. He, he has shined upon us. Uh, uh, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. save ourselves, much less anybody else, but uh, uh, God had sent His Son to die on the old rugged cross for a sinner like me and like you. Amen. You know, uh, uh, I know a lot of the world's still under lockdown and uh, uh, this and that, but uh, I got a, a little message out of the book of Acts. Lord, if I can find my place here. Uh, in the book of Acts, uh, where old uh, Paul and Silas were thrown in jail. I believe these two men was probably one of the first uh, start of the jailhouse ministry. It seemed like everywhere they went, they winded up in the jailhouse. Uh, they were stowed in jail for preaching and talking about Jesus Christ. They was trying to shut him up. and uh, You know, the world ain't changed a whole lot. They're still trying to shut us up. They don't want to hear about Jesus. They don't want to hear the good news. Uh, they just soon for us to just shut up and go home, amen. But I'm here to tell you, when you've been a, a saved to the uttermost, uh, God will give you something to say. Amen. He'll let you, uh, He'll put something way down inside that you can't contain it. Uh, it's got to come out, amen. Oh. It feels like a fire shut up in your bones. Uh, you just want to tell somebody what God has done for you. And so here's these men were thrown in jail. The, uh, uh, they were taken before the magistrate. And uh, uh, all there, they, they said, well, uh, let's beat them and uh, throw them in jail. So they got their beaten, they got lashed, oh, and uh, uh, got the flesh beat off their back for none other than talking about Jesus. Amen. Amen. So they throw them into the prison. I'm winging this. I still can't find it, but that's all right. Uh, 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 I may not even get to it, but uh, 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 it's in here. Amen. So uh, so as they were thrown into the prison house, uh, they, the inner prison it was, uh, they told that old jailer, they said, uh, uh, you keep watch over them and keep them safe. Oh, yeah. Now I got to tell you about this job of the jailer. It's not taken lightly. Because as the jailer would watch over the prison, if anything happened to these men, if they escaped or anything happened, who do you think was responsible? Yep. The jailer was. Uh -huh. and, it, and if uh, uh, something happened to the prisoners, who do you think was going to take the whooping for it? The jailer was. Uh, he was responsible for these men. Put that in the back of your mind for just a minute. Uh -huh. So as they go on through, and uh, uh, guess what old Paul and Silas were doing? They had their legs shackled. They were thrown into the inner prison. Uh -huh. But Come on, guess what they were doing? Come on, church. We've yeah. been bound up. We've been in the house. We've been locked down. Uh -huh. I want you to take note. These two men, Paul and Silas, about the midnight hour, that's right, Paul, help me out. Uh, about the midnight hour, oh, Paul and Silas, they, they were sitting there giving, singing songs and giving praise to the Lord. I'm talking church, we need to be 
you praising Him. I mean, if you're in the house uh, locked up, you need to praise Him. Uh, if wherever we're at, we everything that has breath, let it praise Ye the Lord. Lord. Amen. Uh, even though we ain't in the sanctuary, we kind of spread out following the rules, but we can still praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. So uh, I want you to look, take note here as these men at the midnight hour begin praising God. Amen. Uh -huh. Take note, this is how big God is. They think that God's defeated or, or this virus is bigger than God or, or my sickness or, or these tornadoes. If you haven't been to Murray County, it's a mess over there. I know I live over there. That wizard came out. That tornado was headed right for mine and Lacey's neighborhood. And it was like God's hand just put up around our neighborhood. I didn't see oh, one right. branch yeah. broke yeah. around it. Uh, it was on the left. It was on the right. Uh -huh. It was in front of us. It yes. was all around. Uh -huh. now, but God can still to, uh, open the winds hey. and the Hallelujah. waves obey the Lord I serve. It stayed yeah. all around us. Uh -huh. Not one uh, shingle was blown off. Not one limb was broke. Oh, God is still able to do yeah. all things. So as these men were locked up, oh, the, the great earthquake came. The ground began to shake and tremble. Uh, I'm talking the night I got saved and I dedicated my life to the Lord. Everything within me began to shake and tremble. I knew that something awesome was fixing to happen uh, as the Spirit of the Lord come upon us and, and uh, the shackles fell off. And as the shackles were broke free, the jailhouse doors was opened up. Amen. Acts 1625. Uh, Acts 1625. There it is. Thank you, brother. Uh, 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 praise the Lord. That's why we have our brothers and sisters. We don't have to do it alone, church. We lean on each other. That's what makes putting the body of Christ together so wonderful. When I go a slipping, or your pastor may go a slipping, uh, another member comes along to help hold the hands up. Uh, uh, every member here is needed. Every member out there that's watching is needed. Oh, praise God. I'm so glad to put the body together. It makes me happy. Oh, thank you, Lord. But uh, here, uh, uh, we made it down to about verse 27. Uh, let's see, immediately all the doors were opened and uh -huh. everyone's bands were loose. Uh, and the keeper of the prison awakened out of his sleep. Oh, he was woke up too. Let me tell you, talk about the Lord is coming. Uh, uh, the world is going to wake up one day or another. Uh, when he steps out, whether it's too late or not, they're going to wake up and see and know that everything that we've been preaching about and telling about is true. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. But he woke up out of his sleep and uh, seeing that the prison doors, uh, he drew out his sword. Uh, the prison doors were open. He drew out his sword and would have killed himself. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes, Why yes. would he do this? Yes, sir. Come on. Because he knew the beating that the magistrate was going to punish him was worse than dying. Uh -huh. Oh, they was going to, uh, he didn't want to go through that. He said, I just soon take my own life. Uh -huh. But uh, supposing that the prisoners had been fled, but Paul cried out with a loud voice saying, Do thyself no harm, uh -huh. for we are all here. Oh, yeah. oh, let me tell you, that's how Paul, that's what a Christian is all about, church. Uh, when we'll take a, uh, our own life, they could have run, they could have fled, uh -huh. they could have got out of there. Come on. They would have been out yeah. of prison. But Paul knew because he was a smart man. Uh -huh. He knew the system very well. Paul, who was once named Saul, he was, yeah. oh, he was chief among them. He knew how it all worked. Come on. But Paul, being converted to a Christian, knew what was going to take place. He knew that if he took off a running, that that old jailer would go and pay the price. Yeah. So Paul, he sacrificed his own freedom for the jailer. That's right. As a Christian yeah. church, uh -huh. we need to put on the whole armor of God 
and sacrifice. Hey, when they go making fun, let them make fun. Yeah. When they go talking bad about you, let them talk bad about you. Uh-huh. When they go saying, I don't believe that mess, let them believe. Yeah. On, what yeah. we need to do is live by example. Let the world know, hey, I'll take the beat, and I'll take the stripes, right. I'll take the, the, the rock throwing. Uh, let me stand in front of you and protect you if I can. Let me take the abuse uh-huh. that you may not have to. Amen. Come on. Amen. So as a Paul cried out, do thyself no harm, for we are all here. All here. Each and every one of us is here uh-huh. for your sake. Amen. Now you think you're walking in Christ. You're a living example. Uh, we serve a living God. Amen. And us walking in Christ can change everything. Yeah. Us praising God and singing can change everything. Amen. God is no respecter of person. Amen. Amen. He hasn't changed one bit from Paul's day to the day we live in right now. Amen. When we go out here, even now, as we stand up here on the hillside, people looking around, they might say, hey, there's a church that still believes even when the world has seemed to be falling apart. Uh-huh. I believe uh, uh, there's a song, everything's falling into place. Uh-huh. Amen. God's still in control. Amen. Oh, let me read a little further. And then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas. This is the old jailer. He come in. He come running in now. He seen the devotion that these men uh-huh. had. Uh, he come running in and fell down at their feet. And he, and he brought them out and said, Sir, what must I do to be saved? Be saved. Hallelujah! I'm talking when we go to walking and living for God, uh, the people are going to come asking. They're going to say, uh, I want what you got. Uh, I want some of that. Uh, uh, as a Christian, I don't need a shirt that says I'm a child of God. I don't need gold jewelry. I don't need that neon sign. I believe just my daily walk are to let people know where I stand. And, and I believe whenever we I get some of that, they're they going to say, Boy, I don't know what they yeah. got, but I want some of it. Oh. Hey, Amen. I don't want the world. I want what God has. Yeah. Oh, so when they come out, I want to know how to be saved. And they said, Believe. Now, this is simple as it gets. It ain't no big long sermon. It ain't no big long prayer. He said, he said, and Paul told him, he said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in the house. In the house. Amen. I'm talking, it's going to come. It's that bubbling spring. It comes bubbling up, that living water. It ain't just for you. It's for everybody around you. It'll start getting on this one and some on that one. Everybody around you, your co-workers, your children, your spouses, the whosoever will when it goes to blowing. Amen. Oh. So he said, and he, he made it simple. Yeah. Do you believe today right. that Jesus is who he says he is yes. and can do what he said he'd do? That's as simple as it gets, church. That's right. You're either lost or you're saved. You either believe that Jesus is the Son of God and died for your sins, or he, you believe not. Yes. Oh, amen. and they spake unto him the word of the Lord. Same thing we're, I'm trying to do this morning. And to all that were in the house, and he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes, and was baptized, and, and he and all his straightway, straightway. amen, <laughs> and when he had brought them into yeah. his house, he set meat before them, and rejoiced, believing in God with all his house, yeah, so uh, as this, uh, this old jailer, uh, you know what Paul did, and what all these followers of Paul did, uh, not only not only was for their benefit for that moment. Like I said earlier, they could have took off. They could have run. They'd been free as a bird out of that old jailhouse. Right. But their actions made the difference yeah. for eternity for an old jailer yeah. and in his family. Amen. 
It made the difference for eternity. Uh, uh, this man received salvation because of Paul's actions and Silas and all the men that were gathered there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to tell you today, church, your actions make a difference. Turn your little light up. That's right. it. Turn your little light up. <laughs> have, them, have them lamps trimmed yeah, and burning. Right. Have them shining. Uh, uh, don't hide it under a bushel. Put it on a stand, uh, on a candlestick that the world might see. Yeah. During this, uh, uh, whether the bad storms or pandemic or, or, or maybe even health issues, uh, uh, God only knows. We need to come together. We need to lend a helping hand. We need to put our, 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 our own wants aside and help our neighbor, help our brothers and sisters. I'm talking even help the laws. Help that one. It's maybe uh, you may think is the worst of the worst. They need it more than anybody. Jesus even said to himself, He come not for the righteous, uh, uh, but he come for the sick and the sinners. Amen. Oh, he said the, the whole need not a physician. Yeah. Yeah. They don't need to save that which is lost. Came to seek and to save that which is lost. Amen, <laughs> brother. Today, as the Lord had showed Paul and Silas how big he was, mm -hmm. God has not changed. No. He's still showing up and showing out. Yeah. Had a phone conversation this morning. On the call, check on the individual. He said, I don't know all the answers why God's doing this, but I'm sure he's got a reason. Yeah. Let me tell you, I know from experience, one reason is he's slowing us down. Psalms 23 said he'll make you lie down in green pastures. There'll be a time and a place that you'll have to slow down a little bit. Right. Uh, uh, take rest. During this time that you have at home, Got plenty of time to read the Bible. Read God's Word. Yeah. Got plenty of time to go into prayer. Uh -huh. Got plenty of time to spend with your families, Amen. your little ones. Hey, if you got that opportunity, use it. Use this time we have. Because we may not have tomorrow. We may not have another day, another breath. That's right, brother. No there promise. is no promise of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. No man knoweth the hour. Today is the day of salvation. Today Amen. is the day of salvation. Come on, Dale. I'm oh, proud. God has been so good to me. Yes. He's blessed me in many, many ways, as yes. I said. Uh, not only right now, uh, uh, as you know, I, I work in a nursing home. You know, we, don't, we haven't had one patient get that mess. Uh, oh, not one. We've tested many but not one i pray a hedge up around it continuously yes 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 amen my family has been healthy as i said that storm we was protected by it if you don't know how close it was come on over uh, uh, uh over to northwest elementary you'll see the damage yeah. uh -huh. that's just a rock throw from our house uh -huh. oh but to all those less fortunate church you keep praying that God would, uh, uh, I'm talking unknown things that the kindness that the community has done, uh -huh. people helping each other. Yeah. Church, I want to, uh, uh, I want to ask you, why do we have to wait for a catastrophe to come to start acting like somebody? Right. We need to act like somebody every day. We need yeah. to be out there helping Amen. our neighbors every day. Uh, why does a tornado have to bring us together? Why does a pandemic have to get us to stop and think about what's important? Every day, we need to live and walk as Christ. Yeah. Oh. Church, I want you to know I love you. Uh -huh. All those watching, if I haven't never met you, hey, I don't know how long we, we're going to have... Uh, church parking lot or, or parking lot church or what? what's next on the list but going indoors next week going indoors next week I just said uh, if you don't have a good home church 
Hey, this little church will love you today. Yes, amen. I want to invite you. Yeah. And I want you to know God's not bound to these four walls. If you don't know Him as your personal Savior, I pray today might be the day that you come to know Him. I can't pray your prayer, but as Paul already said, it's as simple as believing or not believing. Yep. We never know what tomorrow is going to unfold. That's right. I hope and pray you've enjoyed this. I know I have. I have too. I hope and pray it's brought you some encouragement. I hope and pray that it's uplifted you somehow. That God's not dead. He's not. His hand's not short. No. Nope. He said He'd always be with us, mm -hmm. all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. He'd never leave us nor forsake us. But what is the end of the world? Boy, He ain't left me yet. Mm -hmm. He ain't left this little church yet. No. Oh, uh, <laughs> my my beloved wife. Uh, I don't know why she's doing way over there. They said six feet. That's about 60 feet. I don't know. Maybe we've been locked up too much together. <laughs> but she let me know that uh, uh, anyone now here at Spring Hill Church, we take up a love offering. Uh, anyone that uh, has something they'd love to give, I know it's hard times. and uh, um, uh, we, don't, we don't preach tithing here. But, uh, they, but if you do have something you'd love to give, hey, uh, uh, we always uh, got, still got to pay the light bills, got to pay the water bill. I know we ain't using it too much, but, uh, you know, the needs of the church. Uh, I know I know the Lord has got plenty in reserve. God has blessed this little church. But, hey, I don't want to knock you out of a blessing. If you have something you'd love to give, Everything's out of. We're, we're not in the norm. I apologize, but uh, uh, let me go in here and get a plate. And if I, I don't know, uh, uh, I'm gonna turn it back over to Brother Tommy and, uh, and uh, let him take over. He might, he might have. He might make more sense. And I, once I get out the Word of God, you can tell I go to study. God bless. We love. You. me and you from a hardcore center. I'm talking about somebody fitting to hold a place in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate Dale this morning. Oh yeah. Appreciate everybody that came out. Yeah. We're going to hold the indoor service next Sunday. We will, we will be doing that next Sunday. Uh, regular. Let me urge you, all you preachers, uh, I urge you to step up. Uh, it's time. All the officers in the church, let me urge you to step up. No great hair preacher. He needs you. Uh, Preachers, I'm probably going to be calling on you. Deacons, I'm going to be calling on you. Sunday school teachers, those that work with the youth. Call about Children's church. I'm going to be calling on you. We need you to, we need you to step up. Why? Because he needs my help at his hand. How important it is. Well, song later, yeah. Bruce. A lot of times, you know, a lot of people don't recognize him. I'm only going to recognize Bruce Jones. I'm going to recognize you, brother. He's the man doing a lot of this filming and stuff today.
There's a lot of things people don't know. I've known this man for years. And I appreciate the job he's doing. He's asked to lead the singing in the choir at the church. Oh, yeah. He's doing, I believe he's doing a fine job. Amen. Yeah. So Y'all come next week. Let's see what new song he's got. Yeah. <laughs> We want you to pray, and we're going to dismiss in prayer today. I do want you to pray that uh, God will just open up the windows of heaven. And I know a lot of people have concerns about this and concerns about that. Uh, you, know, you know, even Carol and I, we have our own concerns about things going on in our house. There's nothing too big that God can't handle. You're willing to take it to him. You know that Philippian jailer, he wanted to take his life. These people out there today. Oh, they they're tired of living, want to take their life. But it's Paul, he told him, do thyself no harm. I want to tell you today, if you're out there, do yourself no harm. We're still here. The church is still here to lend a helping hand. People out there today that's sick and under stress and under this, worry and that worry. Do yourself no harm. We're still here. We're here to help you. We're here to love you. That's what it's all about. That was the message Jesus brought was the message of love. If you will, will you bow your head with me for just a moment? Yes, we'll close amen. Your prayer. Heavenly Father, let us thank you, God, today for this time that we've been able to assemble. Yes. Father, as you said there in Hebrews, forsake it not this sin yourself together as a matter of some is. So, Father, we have assembled together today that, God, that we might be made strong, we might be strengthened in the Word of God. We thank you, God, for the message. We thank you for the messenger. We thank you for those, God, Lord, that are uh, appearing in, God, Lord, from time to time. And God, uh, we thank you for the members, Lord, and the non-members alike. We thank you, God, Lord, for all of those, Lord, Lord, and uh, somehow or another has found space in their heart to find time for you. God, for them that weren't able to be with us here today, this morning, we want to pray for them. Them, Heavenly Father, Lord, that has grown cold and indifferent. Maybe, Father, just grown lazy. I pray, Father, Lord, that you'll stare them. And, Father, Lord, uh, give them a friendly reminder, God, Lord, where your house is. And God, bring them back into your sheepfold. Again, Father, let them know that we here at the church, we still love them and God care. Again, Father, we pray for the elders. We pray for all those in this uh, state of Georgia that may be sick. We pray for all of those that are under stress and duress. Again, Father, we just pray and ask you, God, if you will, to bless Springfield Church. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Just a moment. Hold on. I got one more thing in business. I need to take care of. Um, tried to speak to some of the guys here among us. Um, Brother Lawrence has brought up that uh, uh, we want to give as a body and if there's any objections, hey, let it be known now. I know we ain't got everybody here, but uh, uh, we want to we want to write Brother Tommy and Sister Carol a check for uh, $500 out of the church fund, we've got it. Brother Brother Lawrence King is our treasurer, and he knows he knows what the church has, and uh, we haven't we don't we don't pay Brother Tommy to uh, to pastor Spring Hill Church. He does it out of love, but uh, on the occasion uh, uh, we try to try to give this man a, a little extra if we can for all that he does. Uh, him and his wife are very diligently. Uh, out uh, working the mission field. Uh, if they can help, they, they try their best. And uh, I just really want to uphold him, him and Miss Carol, because uh, well, I know him pretty good. Uh, bless her heart, all I can say. Uh, but uh, we, uh, from, the, from the church and the members, uh, I believe everybody's in agreement with it. Uh, we're going to, uh, Lawrence is going to write y'all a check for $500 for uh, Bills, whatever you need it for. I don't, I don't know your household or you need. Might need to pay a few doctor bills. I don't know. But uh, so, uh, and, and we are uh, 
Did y'all done take up the offer? Okay, so they, they've also took up the offer and anything, you know, you love to give, just give from the heart. But uh, I won't. Now, everything in the offering that's took up this morning is going to also go to Brother Tommy and Sister Carol as well. So um, just uh, God bless you. Thank you for your time. And, uh, uh, you know, like I said, we ain't preaching tithing here. Uh, but, you know, if you got a little extra, hey, uh, uh, God blesses a cheerful giver. I know. <laughs> Believe me, I know. He does. God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Hey, we love you. God bless. Hopefully we'll see you soon.